so loading your custom image to twin motion is usually pretty simple and that's what i want to show you the many ways i mean you can either load it on an image like this one which so what you do like if i delete this one you go to to objects and on objects you go to home and decoration living room then the decorations so you have a, a number of images here you can select them you can select and be able to change the texture that you want on the image to change it is just pretty simple like this one all i have to do is click on this pencil a material picker then i click on it so once i click on it it shows you the texture and you click on more and then now you can click here and bring your own you click on open and now i can load my own texture if i have it somewhere like uh, i might have one here so let's see what is it like that yeah so then you can be able to load your own image just that simple and another way assuming you had a picture which has a frame so i mean has a glass on top of it like this one had a as a glass on top of it so i can bring like this one which has a glass on it and let me delete this one for now so this one is a little bit tricky because it has a glass and for us we just want to pick the material that is not glass or if you want you can pick the glass and you apply the text on it but you load your image on it but sometimes you want if you have this image and you want the glass to appear so that it appears in such a way once you render it appears in such a way that there is a glass on top so now if we click on the top what we choose is the glass but remember for us we don't want the glass we want our image to be behind the glass so in that case so you want to be somewhere like like this this is my image i'm coming at the image at an angle and now all i have to do is to try to move to move the mouse a little and then you'll be able to see like this is the image this is the glass and this is your image so if you click on your image and you click on more then here open i can now go and maybe pick an image where i have it so that i'm able to load it maybe to load it and uh, in this way in this way once you do the rendering it will appear as if the image is behind a glass unlike the other way but the other way is simpler the other way if i have this image all you have to do is click on it and once you click on it it comes then you click on more and here you open so this one is a little bit simpler than the than uh, this other one where we have to select the image behind a glass so that is it it's just pretty simple i forgot to, like it is easy i always find it easy to use images textures applying images textures and sometimes objects when i have my custom objects instead of loading them in archicad i prefer to load them into in motion that way it, it is a little bit easier and the flow works easier because sometimes when you're sending your textures from archicad to to in motion you might have some issues with some textures not appearing so i mean or maybe texture corruption so to avoid that also you might just make your archicad drawing to be too heavy for no reason so to avoid all that it is easier when you come to archicad at two twin motion and now you can be able to load your textures your objects whatever like this texture it was loaded here into in motion nearly everything was loaded into in motion but of course the design was done in uh, akikada